<laughs> hey everybody, welcome to the Lavender Tone, episode eight. I'm Rory, and I'm here with my co-host AJ. Hello. And our very special guest star, Spencer. Hello, everybody. Yeah, so Spencer's video is lagging a little bit, so you might see him go crazy from time to time, but his voice is working just fine. So, um, chef's kiss on the voice. Um, yeah, Spencer's our friend from back home, so he's going to sit in on the news, and then maybe uh, maybe we'll talk to him a little bit later. But anyways, if you like the show, go ahead, give us a like, maybe even subscribe if you're feeling good, you know, and leave a comment down there. Tell us how stupid we are. So uh, anyways, you guys ready to get to the news? I am. All right. So we're going to start out with Pokemon Go like we usually do. Um, they basically, there's not a ton with Pokemon Go this week. Uh, they announced spotlight hours for the month of November. Um, they're like 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. your local time. And on December 1st, it'll be Seal. December 8th, it'll be Swinub. December 15th, it will be... Adventure Hat Pikachu! It's a Pikachu with a hat! Just for you, AJ. <laughs> I never even include spotlight hours in the news, but this one went in there for this reason. Did it say what it is? It's an adventure hat. What the heck? It's is a hat that? you'd wear on an adventure. Does that mean like a safari? Yeah, hat? I was like, if it's a safari hat, then that's cool. It's an adventure hat, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what the hat looks like. I did like the but... Christmas hat Pikachu from a while ago. That was really it'll cool. Be, it'll be back. They bring them back around the holidays, so. And then December 22nd is Snow Run, and December 29th is Snow Ver. So you can see the, the theme they're going for here. I can't. Other than... <laughs> it does look like it is one of the safari hats. Perfect. Oh, I'm cool. going to have to get one. All right. And. And moving on from Pokemon Go, because I just wanted to annoy AJ, um, the Pokemon Company announced during the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade uh, the start of Pokemon 25th anniversary celebrations. And they announced the most important thing of all of this, the logo. So... We'll, we'll include the logo somewhere, I'm sure. So hold on. That's, all, Say that that's all they showed was... What? Say that again? What happened? <laughs> they announced the start of the 25th uh, anniversary of Pokemon. Oh, okay, so cool. They, they didn't actually announce anything. Are they changing the logo? Is that what you're trying to say? They just have like a 25th year logo. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Fun it's fact. Nothing crazy. I can't wait. This I is... can't wait to see the century logo. The one, 100 years of Pokemon <laughs> is It'll be a so one weird. and two Pokeballs. You know exactly. it will be. Yep. So this was the first year in my life that I've missed the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Wow. How do I, you feel? I feel horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were we were like sitting around and we like realized we were like, what are we going to watch? And then we were like, there's not really any Thanksgiving like movies like. There's not a lot. We watched uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, and that was about it. And then Charlie Brown. Yeah, I guess you can watch Charlie Brown. I don't know. I There's enjoy like it. A, a zombie turkey movie where he like goes around killing people. <laughs> those... Oh, what, Thanks Killing? Yes, Thanks Killing. And then there's yeah. Thanks Killing. That's what it is. Yeah, there's another one I think called Pilgrims, too. Uh, it's about pilgrims killing people in the modern day. <laughs> Anyways, that was a fun little detour we took there. <laughs> um, and now it's time for a very special segment that everybody knows what time it is, except it has a new name and is now <laughs> only Rory and AJ care about this Pokemon Masters <laughs> Minute. That's right, everybody. AJ's playing Pokemon Masters. I am. But for before you get into that... I need to plug our Twitch because we do, I'll put the name up there. It's the same as our Instagram and I'll link it down below. But every once in a while we'll be playing games on there and 
our first stream was me learning how to play Pokemon Masters. And the VOD is up on the channel if you want to go watch it. So, yeah. Yeah, we played it for like two hours. Yeah. So. Well, you played. I mostly just talked. So. Um. Anyways, back into the minute. That's well over a minute already. Um, <laughs> Gloria and Zashian were added to the game. They're the first Gen 8 sync pair that's in the game. So this opens the doors to all the Sword and Shield characters, hopefully. Um, I did one pull, and I got her, so I'm very happy. She's very good. Um, they also announced Holiday Skyla and Togekiss, and Holiday Erica and Comfy. I know AJ is very excited for Erica. She's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a surprise sync pair coming December 21st that they're hinting, but everybody seems to know that it's going to be N. So, that'll be cool. N's a cool boy. He is. Some people think he's a Zorark in disguise. Uh, but That's a bit that's, weird. That's kind of a stretch there. Maybe I'll get to that in a, in a Wednesday series <laughs> some other time. Um, <laughs> uh, then, uh, Pokemon Cafe Mix. Uh, they finally announced something that's going to get me to play it again for a while. Because uh, Dragonite is coming. December 2nd to oh, December 16th. That's cool. Yeah, I gotta have Dragonite. Yeah. So it, it looks like Spencer has antlers right now, and it's distracting <laughs> me. It's perfect. <laughs> what a handsome boy. Um, and then this is the big <laughs> news of the week. <laughs> Uh, the big news is that uh, Yuri Geller, who sued the Pokemon company 20 years ago for uh, his likeness being used for the Pokemon Kadabra, um, he has apologized and said that Nintendo and the Pokemon company can now use Kadabra in their Pokemon cards again. So there hasn't been a Kadabra card in like 20 years, so... Spencer, I think you're muted. I did not know that. Oh, never mind. You were just you were you're just mouthing it. <laughs> um, yeah, no, Kadabra has not been on a Pokemon card in like 20 years. So, I'm excited to have our spoon bending boy back. Yeah. So it'll be good. Yeah. I'm excited. I was super excited. I think I think I learned from Pokemon Energy. Oh, really? Yeah. But it was, I was just like, dude, this is awesome. So, yeah, I was glad. Uh, and like, not only was he like, yeah, you can use my card again, but he was like, sorry, everybody. Sorry, I was a jerk 20 years ago. I don't, I was a different person. My bad. Um, but I read like his comments from those like 20 years ago, and he was like, they used my likeness for the occult, they made me into a demon. <laughs> and I'm like, Bro, it's it's a cadabra. <laughs> um, and the last thing I wanted to touch on, uh, I know this is a fun spot. This is a soft spot for AJ. Um, a sealed first edition pack of base set Pokemon cards sold for three hundred and sixty thousand dollars at auction uh, this past week. So. How's it make you feel, AJ? I hate it. It's annoying. <laughs> I'm hoping it chills. I already feel like it's chilling out a little bit, but and the thing is, is like you can't get anything now because of it. So I think That's... we'll see with. I think we'll have to see with the next expansion because even with Shiny Star V, you can't get it anywhere unless it's like double the price. Yeah, that's and that's the problem. The next expansion's gonna have shiny Pokemon in it, so it's gonna be Hidden Fates. Which, to be fair to all this blowing up, Hidden Fates was already hard to find even yeah. before all of this. So we'll see. Keep an eye on your realtor, your uh, your your little card shops, and your realtor, so that you can pre-order. Hopefully, whenever. Because that's basically what happened with me with Vivid Voltage. I just, I check my card shop's website all the time and they popped up and I was like, pre-order, pre-order. Yeah. So that's it for the news. You boys got any questions about the news? Uh, 
Spencer can go ahead, but I do have something after. I don't have a question. I enjoyed it. That was very insightful. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, I, I learn something every week. Good. That's what we like. I to try. Uh, so my my uh, I, I might as well just start a section at the end of this is AJ's uh, ranting or he's a ornery old man i guess i don't know but we'll call it a uh, get off aj's lawn yeah uh so <laughs> my biggest thing is is i i sent you the video and there's this guy on tiktok and it has like a lot of likes it like went viral on tiktok and it's this investor and he's like just spouting lies basically um and he's just saying go to your costco and buy all this product which already is a sensitive thing for you and i because kids need why are you taking all the cards from the kids basically like he literally had a living room full of this stuff and then he was basically like get rid of the sun and moon packs and just keep the xy evolutions because that's where all the value is which is completely false um Mm. And then he's trying to say that the holographic Charizard is selling for like $10,000, which it's not. And even when it gets graded, it's not. There's two sales on eBay that he showed and they were XY evolutions, but like the people got screwed over on it. Like you can look up everywhere. It doesn't sell for that much. And then he like went on and continued about like how people are idiots for him call them calling out calling him a liar and everything like that and it's like you're like i i don't care if you're like telling people to go invest in it but like you're telling people to get rid of a pack that has like a 400 hundred dollar charizard in it right now that you can oh, sell on burning yeah so it's like i don't know just like bad advice like that it just drives me crazy because like he's not in it for any other reason than money and that already sits wrong with me so but yeah, that's my thing. Just fact check dumb people before you go and buy cards. So because it's understand like understand the whole investment thing. Like it's supposed to be fun. Like I mean, if you're gonna invest in something, there's better things to invest your money in. Yeah. No offense. I mean. Oh yeah, Pokemon for sure. For for fun. That I mean, that's why we have it. We're not investing anything in it. I think the best way to do it was. It's like I sent you that video of that guy. He collects like Pokemon, Magic, and Yu Gi Oh! And he just like, he goes over the prices every once in a while. And, (laughs) and, um, he was just like, he basically was just like, I'm never going to sell this, but I just look at the prices and it gets my dick hard. (laughs) So (laughs) there's that. Look at all that. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Her like her actual OG 150. Oh. There's probably some money in that. <laughs> yeah, she's got all sorts of stuff going on. I saw Torch it. Whenever you guys come, we'll have to come check out all of her stuff. Yeah. You'll have to get her on one of these ones and you guys can discuss cards together. Because she's I have got a like a couple of the generations in cool. Yeah, she's got all a bunch of them. That'd be actually pretty cool. <laughs> We'll set that up. Yeah. I'll get you in contact with her manager. All right. <laughs> <laughs> have a, I'll have a, your agent call my agent. So, um, well, are you done ranting, AJ? I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that if you're going to invest in Pokemon cards, just trying to get evolutions and stuff isn't like you're not going to make back your money buying a bunch of Pokeballs hoping to find evolutions that may have a Charizard in it. Yeah. So whatever. I think if you're going to invest, invest in the older cards. Yeah. That's like, the only thing to invest in really. Yeah. Or if you're, if you're going to invest in the modern cards, just know that you're going to have to sit on it for a long time. Mm-hmm. Like you're buying them to put them away for 15 years. Yeah. Uh, the reason I feel like the original ones have so much, value is because of the nostalgia yeah and you aren't going to have nostalgia with the new cards for the long time until the people who are growing up with these cards as kids they're gonna 15 yeah. 20 years from now they're gonna be like oh man remember that back then that's what mm-hmm. well that's the nostalgia value 
that's the biggest thing with evolutions is evolutions is just reprints of the old cards so like you open a pack and it's all the original art from when you were a kid yep that's basically the point of it yeah uh is to get you that nostalgia hit um which i mean i love opening evolutions but i'm also not <laughs> buying 15 pokeballs just to get yeah. one evolutions out of them um and yeah it's like even the chase cards like if you get a chase card right when it first comes out it's worth a bunch of money and then it goes down in price and then it slowly goes back up like your shiny charizard that first night that you got it we looked it up and it was like 700 dollars and then now, right now, it's at like four hundred dollars. Yeah. And then that kind of seems where it's kind of leveling out, and then it's just going to go back up over time. But it's not like, oh, I got this shiny Charizard now, I can retire with my four hundred dollars. Yeah. Like, like there is an investment side to it, but just know that if you're getting new cards, you're going to be waiting a little bit to be selling them for ten k. <laughs> If you want to um, invest in something, go to the stock market or something. I don't know. What to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Low cost ETFs. All right, old man Spencer. <laughs> let's uh, let's move on to our interview with Spencer. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. So uh, Spencer is definitely he likes Pokemon, but he's not he's not he's not as into it like here. But we'll see. Maybe we'll change that. Well, I got some questions later on. Don't worry. Um, but the first question is, we're just going to start with the basic. It's the same thing I asked AJ to start with, which is, what got you into Pokemon? It started off with the anime. So I started watching that first. Same. And then the the cards were, were coming out and everything. And I was all about them because me and my cousin would play. And then my little brother... He was also in on it, so Love I you, Cameron. all of his good cards. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my good cards. Um, and then between that, you know, you got you got your friends and stuff. And growing up, I moved around a lot because Dad was in the Navy, so that was always something to you know, you'd roll up to a new spot and you'd be like, "Hey, who wants to battle?" And then we'd we'd go from there. It's it's a good icebreaker. That's fair. That's fair. I why can I just imagine like Cameron as like a six year old being like, Yeah, you can have my cards. Like just, like, <laughs> like, just not even chill. Like he is. Um yeah, I can see that. Like moving around, it would give you like something to have in common, like no matter where you went in the in the late nineties, no matter where you go, everybody likes Pokemon. Right? Exactly. Everyone likes Pokemon. You bring them to school, you're like, yo, check out my coughing, and they'd be like, oh! Were, was that an AJ? Because, <laughs> yes, uh... that, that was in reference to AJ. You gotta kind of get your voice down a little bit. Hey, everybody, <laughs> you wanna check out my coughing? <laughs> uh, okay, so I know, and you kind of alluded to this earlier when we were talking about it. I know you're a big fan of the Pokemon theories. Um, I actually think me and you kind of, I think our time together kind of got me into the theories more than anything. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, there was like a nine month period where I slept on a futon in Spencer's room and we would just talk about Pokemon theories. Um, roommate Every night, <laughs> rip out something new. Yeah, three in the morning, just in the dark. Wait, wait, did you hear this one? So, um, I know you're a big fan of the theory. So, what is your favorite Pokemon theory? My favorite Pokemon theory. That's a tough one because they're all oh, so good. They're mm -hmm. all so good. Um, I I think as much as it hurts to say, I like the one that Ash is dead and he's early. He's like living in a coma, and that's why he doesn't age. That's I think that's one of the good ones because I mean it's just like I mean that's sad but if that's his heaven he's just he's living it out and that's great. Mm -hmm. I AJ alluded uh, AJ took over for me one week uh, when I was having some writers but sometimes figuring out those theories uh, takes a bit of work uh, and he took over for me that week and kind of spotlighted that one for everybody. Uh, there's another one that's like a spin off of that one where. When Ash saw Ho Oh in the first episode, Ho Oh basically granted him eternal youth as like a wish. And that's what that's like the less dark version of that theory. Uh, yeah. But obviously, the Ash's dead one is more interesting. But yeah, I, I, I prefer the, 
the the kids being dead one. Yeah. <laughs> the darker theories are always the best ones, honestly. Um, yeah. Okay, so you don't make it a secret that you love water type Pokemon. You're Team Water, a thousand percent. I've never met anybody. You like water type Pokemon more than AJ and I like ghost type Pokemon. So, yeah. Well, what like, makes it's no, also the fact that like this man loves the water and like things exactly. that live in it. <laughs> well, AJ, you just answered part of my question, <laughs> Spencer, which is what makes you love water type Pokemon so much? I absolutely love love being around the water you know whether it's rivers or the ocean um i mean there was a point in time where i was living in west virginia which is far away from the ocean and i would have to like drive back home to just go look out at the bay like the water is wow chef's kiss double chef's kiss (laughs) and so i just you know growing up i've always had a, a fascination with you know especially like squirtle that was always my jam i was always picking up the water water starter every single game um it's just they're just so good they're you so you have been Team Squirtle the entire time that I've known you. You you yeah. have told me many times that Squirtle's the best starter. So yeah, it's, it's not even close. So okay, so I know Squirtle's the best starter, but is Squirtle your favorite Pokemon? And if not, who is it? Squirtle is probably my favorite. I'm actually in the process of getting my leg tattooed like it's going to be a leg sleeve and i'm getting squirtle hidden in there so oh i'm going to have this squirtle with the, the with the cool sunglasses oh squirtle squad yep the squirtle squad squirtle that's awesome everybody Whenever loves squirtle. I get that one done you'll you guys will definitely be be seeing it but yeah i think squirtle is probably my favorite it's just so yeah. so cute yeah and he, i mean squirtle squad squirtle's badass so um, when you get that tattoo, send us a picture so we can share it with the world on the Instagram. So yes, most definitely, you're officially an affiliate of Lavender Town Syndrome. So now it's uh, it's on brand now. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. So you say that you were a fan of the Pokemon show go- growing up, right? Mm-hmm. Now I want you to do something for me here, okay? Okay. I want you to recite the Team Rocket motto from start to finish. Oh God, uh, I I don't know it anymore. I know I'm <laughs> I'm literally the worst. I'm literally the worst. I don't know it. Um, Pre- prepare for trouble. Make it double. See, I don't. To protect don't the world remember. from devastation. Oh, God, I got you. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll... <laughs> He's Googling it, everybody! <laughs> That's okay, I want to hear you recite it, so I'll accept a Googling of it. Okay. I, I, I haven't, I've been so out of it, I, I want to get back into it, but I just, I haven't really stop. played any Pokemon game lately. Just, just, okay. It's stop stop answering stuff before I get to things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Prepare for trouble. Make it double to protect the world from devastation. To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars <laughs> above. Jesse, game. Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Meow, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much of that was me going like this. It actually but. caught you the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, Sweet. I was like waiting for it to be like, but it never really did. Um, okay. But now it's doing it. So thank <laughs> it for holding off. Um, no, that was perfect. I loved it. Uh, AJ had to ask me if Meowth always had that accent uh, in our last episode of the show. And I was like, yes, Meowth has always had that accent. Yep. All right. It's always on brand. It's true. It's true. So here we go. The last question. You've made it to the end, Spencer. And this is where you almost answered my question too quick. Spencer, what would it take to get you into Pokemon cards? What (laughs) would it take? Honestly, like I said, I want to get back into it. I think it would be super fun. I want to figure out a way for us to battle with our actual cards, like, online. Like, 
find some way that you guys, the way you like open your cards and stuff so you can see your face and everything. I want to figure out a way to do that, but so we can like actually battle each other. Because I oh, think we that can, would be really fun. Yeah, that's easy. Oh, we can, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> well, 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 again, uh, our agent will call your agent. We'll, we'll set okay. something up. So. Yeah. yeah. I know I, uh, like I, I, Megan's been playing more of the, the sword and shield. And uh, I've just, I, I haven't been playing anything like that, unfortunately. I need to steal it from her and get into it. There was a point where I was borrowing it so I could battle my, my friend who lives here. Um, and then I just, I got sidetracked and I need to get, need to get back into it and build my water team back up. Yeah, that was the, the first, I remember when we lived together, the first time I went through a Pokemon game with like special rules was that time that. It was me, you, and was it? Did Cameron also do it? Where we all chose a type and just played through Pokemon yep. Gold and Silver. Yep. Um, you, you had and to I play remember, like you were a gym leader and you needed that that one type. Yeah. So I I, I used only flying type Pokemon. Hi, Megan. <laughs> How's it going? Can you see me? Uh huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the jams. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I used only flying, uh, flying Pokemon. Spencer used only water types. So it was fun. I want to play now that we have the Twitch up. I want to do like some Nuzlocke and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we can even do the battles as well. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. Uh, Wolfman and I are supposed to have a big battle. So, and now that I know that Frankie has a capture card. Yeah, you should uh, definitely stream it. Yeah. Now we can do it because Wolfman and I have competitive Pokemon. So. I'm gonna battle it up, and I'm gonna win. So, so I have, gonna... a, I have a question for you, Spencer, and I'm trying to remember if it was you because I talked to you about this in the very beginning when I started collecting again, and you were like, "I can't do it because I know I won't be able to stop myself." Wasn't that you? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. I. Yep. Yeah. It's like now, now that I've you know actually got a job and stuff, I have to stop myself from just going and buying all of the cards yeah there's a there's a nice little uh card shop downtown and we were looking through them all yes you know a couple months ago right before covid hit and it was just nostalgia just you know looking through all the cards the singles that they had and stuff and i was like oh i want to get back into this but it's scary because i won't be able to stop yeah we rory and i had that wall that we hit of like I got to step back right now because I'm like being really irresponsible. So like you definitely like will catch yourself. And then like, I, I haven't had a problem with it. I don't know about you, Rory, but like you start to see like it come towards you, like in a way of like, I need to stop this and like calm down a little bit. And then, yeah, after that, or somebody will just like, you luckily have Megan who will be able to be like, you're, you're an idiot. Like calm down. <laughs> Oh, she's like, yo, let me get some new cards. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Classic. Yeah, whenever we moved here, that was that was her thing is she wanted to finish off her, her original 151. Um, so we were looking for all those, like trying to, to get the last few. But what did she finish it? I already had the original 151. I thought we were looking for a Charizard for you. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> Oh, the second gen that she wanted to finish. I'm sorry. Hey, I don't blame her. Johto's awesome. So, I love Johto. That's... It's hard for me to say it's my favorite over, over Kanto, but... Oh, it's close. It's, it's so good. It's oh, it's so close. Um, well, that's so all the questions I had for Spencer. Uh, do you have anything else, AJ, for Spencer? Nah, we'll just get him and Megan back into it. It's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, we need. I need. I need to go out and like. I was go driving through uh, and stopped at Target the other day to pick something up, and I was looking for their like card section, and I was like, man, it's not here. Like, it's hard to find. It's like back in the toy so section good. now, and yeah. then it's not up front anymore at any Target. It's, it's a shame because I remember going into Target back when you guys worked there, and they had that awesome display. And you would just, I'd look at them and be like, man, I could spend so much money here. <laughs> yeah. Just wait until AJ and I come visit. We'll uh we'll make sure that you 
you don't leave unscathed. You'll, uh, one of <clears throat> us. One of us. <laughs> one of us but yeah no if you want to pick <laughs> up a pre-built deck we can definitely battle online so yeah just keep that in mind i definitely want to i de yeah i definitely want to want to get back into it and like actually battle and stuff with you guys i think that'd be fun yeah for sure we got you boy well i think that's it for the lavender tone here unless uh you boys have anything to finish up on no nah. i have a question for aj oh god and this one might be a cop-out because I'm pretty sure you and Roy are going to be very similar. But if I was a gym leader, I would be the water gym leader. If Roy was one, he would be a ghost. Would you also be ghost or would you be something different? Uh, I think if I was going to be a gym leader, it would either be um, it would either be a grass or a poison type. Nice. Shocker, Coffee right? Only. Yeah. So no, honestly, I'm surprised. I thought you, I thought you were gonna go ghost too. So I'm glad you had different answers ready. I just really so. like, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I love ghost type. Like, Alistair is probably one of my favorite gym leaders. But like, I don't know. There's just something about like grass types, like that sits with me. Like I, I've always liked Ivysaur and like Venusaur and like all that stuff and like Bulbasaur. Like when I was a kid. Cause like you always picked Squirtle, but like I was always either, um, well I don't know why I just forgot it, but yeah, it was always Squirtle. Bulbasaur? It was either Squirtle or Bulbasaur that I was picking. So, but yeah, so and then I love Poison type as well. It just is cool. That's funny because I was always Squirtle and Charmander, so I never picked Bulbasaur. <laughs> And I like Bulbasaur. I was, I was with AJ. I never picked Char, Char, yeah. Charmander. Yeah, never. nope. I never... I can't think of a single time I started with Bulbasaur. No, I, I probably did later on. But at least in the original, like back when I had Blue, I never started with Bulbasaur, ever. Um, it, I would just kind of alternate between Squirtle and Blastoise. Or, um, Squirtle and Blastoise. Squirtle and Charmander. <laughs> so. He had a brain fart like I did. <laughs> uh, not as bad as the one I had at the beginning of the show. <laughs> go on over to the Instagram if you want to see that. Um, yeah. No, that's. I think we should sure. get you guys like avatars of you as trainers with like your Pokemon around you. I think that would be cool. Oh, we well, were, yeah. It was like a, a ghost gym leader, all like ghosted up, and then you have like a poison grass leader, all like poison grassed up. Yeah, we were going to do that, but then um, Brittany had that, like, really cool idea, so. That doesn't mean we can't do it in the future. Yeah, for sure. Could be stickers um, and stuff, so. Exactly. The good Very news important. for you is uh, Venusaur covers both of those types, so. Well, everybody, thanks for coming and watching The Lavender Tone, episode eight. Um... Make sure if you like the episode, you give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And comment down below who your favorite type of Pokemon is. Hit the bell icon so you notice all of the notifications. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, hold on. You want me to sell it for real? Make sure to slam that like button. And you want to pound that subscribe. And make sure that you ding the bell for notifications. Comment down below. <laughs> that was it. That was the good stuff. <laughs> well everybody it's been real we love you all good night goodbye <laughs>